Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be super, super grateful. You guys, we got to talk about Prince Harry and some of the things, well, one particular thing that he said um, that is part of his new autobiography, Spare, Spare, yeah, Spare, Spare, no, Spare. And uh, yeah, before we get into that, grab a snack, grab a drink. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Are we love? I've worn this before, but I it's so cold in LA right now. I had something, like I had another outfit on, but I was like, girl, I'm with my best friends, bitch. I'm just gonna wear whatever I wanna freaking wear. And this is giving very much Clueless vibes. By the way, did you know Clueless was also a show? It was not just a movie. And the theme song went a little something like this. If you believe, oh no, that's Lizzie McGuire, bitch, hang on. She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, you know, just being messy. Okay, we gotta talk, you guys, because um, what you might call it, Prince Harry sat down and did an interview, right? And in this interview, you guys, he talks about um, how he believed that his mom was alive for many, many years. So let's listen to it a little bit, okay? And we'll talk about it. You, you didn't believe she was dead. Oh, I'll turn this off so we can see. For a, long, for a long time, I just refused to accept that she was, she was gone. Um, part of, you know, she would never do this to us, but also part of... Maybe this is all part of a plan. I mean, you, you really believe that maybe she had just decided to disappear for a time? For a time, and then that she would call us and we would go and join her. Yeah. How long did you believe that? Years. Many, many years. I'm really not... So, okay, we'll, we'll go part in part. Um, first of all, um, let's talk about just that part. I think it's so sad, right? It is so incredibly sad how... He, for so many years, believed his mom was alive because for some kind of plan, right? Um, let me tell you guys something. Princess Diana was hounded. Um, I just, I, you know, I've been really kind of looking into like the royal past and stuff because I really want to start doing more like royalty. Um, and she literally, her whole life was flashing lights. Her whole life was a paparazzi. And for her not being able to be that free woman she wanted to be and just dedicate her life in helping people and in humanitarian acts uh, and not just be hounded by paparazzi and what she's wearing and what she's doing and who she's dating, that really got to her. So, of course, Prince Harry, you know, not just because of hope or denial or the grief itself, but um, that sort of like anything is possible uh, conversation of, you know, maybe she did in fact fake it so she can live sort of like a free life and then come back for her children. So I can't imagine, you know, being such a young kid like he was losing his mom and then believing that it was part of some plan. And I can only imagine him like telling his dad, telling the people around him, like my mom is coming for me any day now. Like that breaks my heart so much. And I really do feel for him. Um, all right, let's continue. He had, um, he had similar thoughts. You write in the book, you say, I'd often say it to myself first thing in the morning, maybe this is the day. Maybe this is the day that she's going to mm -hmm. reappear. Yeah, hope. I have huge amounts of hope. He held on to that hope into adulthood. So, um, obviously he had, you know, hope. Um, he goes on to say, you guys, that when he turned 18, he decided to go and investigate the police report. He wanted to know, in fact, what happened, who was responsible, and, you know, more to the bottom of it so he can actually move on. He went with um, his, like, assistant, or I, I forgot, like, the royal, the formal name of him, but he went and they did, in fact, go through all of the reports, and he did say that he saw some pictures um, his, oh girl, I have to sneeze. Hang on, one, two, three. Come on. <laughs> oh. Do I have any? No, I'm good. Anyways, um, he said that he had, um, his assistant, 
uh, stop him from looking at more, uh, more um, uh, horrifying pictures, if you will. Um, he did. He said that he did see a couple of pictures uh, of just the back of his mom's head, but he did say, and he used the word gruesome pictures, that he is very fortunate and grateful for the assistant to not have let him continue and look at the pictures because those are the things that sort of stay with you forever, right? Um, I think after looking at that, um, one of the things that he said that honestly broke my heart was that, in fact, there's a picture of paparazzi, the flash of the lights trying to get her, um, her body. And the paparazzi didn't stop, not even when the crash happened. So um, for him to see that, that the last thing she saw was paparazzi flashes, camera flashes. It, 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 I mean, it must honestly break his heart. You know what I mean? Because like, imagine the last thing you see is the, 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 the one thing you hate the most, right? And I honestly feel like um, him growing up and like, you know, walking with that sort of hope and that sort of like, you know, idea of any moment, like he said, today might be the day that my mom comes back and, you know, she she takes me away from this and, you know, she, 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 she tells me that it was all part of a plan. Like that must feel so bad. And it must, and it must be so difficult for the grief process because you can't really grieve thinking and believing that your mother is really not gone, but she is still here, right? Um, one thing that I do have to say is that, you know, in Hollywood, these things, I don't think they're very far-fetched. You know, um, I, I don't think that faking your hmm hmm is that far-fetched. I really do think that anything is possible if you have money and if you have power. And, um, I, you know, we saw that, you know, with like, you know, Michael Jackson and Elvis and Marilyn Monroe. There's so many conspiracies. There's so many things. And there has been a conspiracy of Princess Diana for a very long time that she did that to escape this world. But honestly, the love that Princess Diana had for her children, I don't believe that um, that she would do that just for her to be in peace and away from the paparazzi. You know, I do think that, you know, she is obviously past and you know, I hope she is in peace and I hope that she finds, you know, uh, you know, just like pure happiness. And um, I'm pretty sure, obviously, she doesn't like to see her sons fight. But I also think that Princess Diana um, understands that, you know, at, th at, at this point in time, um, no family is perfect. Doesn't matter how many etiquette classes you take. No family is perfect. And everybody will, you know, there's always going to be some kind of drama in, in some families. You know what I mean? So... Anyways, um, I hope I hope for both of them healing because he did mention that Prince William also thought that that was uh, a possibility. So I do hope for both of them healing and love and light um, and just all around peace for all. You know, I really hope that they can uh, get along at some point. But after this book, girl, I don't think so. So anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.